Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about a WooCommerce organic or food website with the help of this theme you will be able to showcase your organic offline store like if you have a vegetable or a grocery store you can literally come here and make it online with the help of WordPress right. So this is a perfect theme for those people who are running offline grocery store vegetable stores or any kind of uh, organic or food store right. As you can see this theme has over 1300 sales which is a great deal and if you want to go out through the whole documentation then you can always click on this documentation and you will get to know more about all the little detail which has been provided by this theme okay and the best part about this theme is this theme consists of a lot of uh, demo uh, templates L let this page load and I will tell you how many demo content has been provided by this theme okay and apart from that if you scroll down then you will get a rough idea as you can see there are multiple organic demo as you can see there are four demos for flowers three demos for flower and if this loads up as you can see eight demos just for food okay and three demos for natural medicines and three demos from flowers interior plant three demos there are a lot of demos from each and every category right if you are into restaurant business if you are into botanical business or flower business anything you name it okay so first of all to install this theme on your wordpress website you need to download this theme uh, just buy it from here and once the file has been installed or saved on your uh, system then we need to upload that particular file on wordpress which is super simple i will guide you throughout the whole process okay coming back to the website where i will install this theme this is my demo website uh, youtube.srmeheranclub.com okay so first of all you need to log into your backend just type wp admin and you will be redirected to the dashboard so if you are logging in for the first time it will ask you for the username and password which you have entered while you were installing wordpress on your cpanel okay so once you are logged in this is the dashboard or the backend of a website so with the help of this section you will be able to edit or manage each and every section or prospective of the whole website okay on the left hand side you will see a lot of menu things let me give you a quick tour what exactly they are under the settings section you will see general setting writing setting reading setting uh, discussion setting so under the discuss discussion section you will find a comments of blogs to be disabled or enabled or permalink setting with the help of permalink you will be able to set up the structure of a, our url like how you want to be structured if i click on permalink then you will get a rough idea what i am exactly talking about as you can see this is the structure layout of a url i always generally prefer to post name then because that is good for seo okay and if you come here under the tool section you will see uh, there are a lot of tools provided by wordpress import export or any kind of tool under the user section you will be able to create multiple user and assign them different role right if you want a website to have multiple admins you can have it you want multiple author you can have it you can literally add multiple users with the different assigned role okay under the plugin section you can add a different kind of plugin basically plugin are something which exactly increase the extra functionalities on your website so with the help of plugin you will be able to do a lot of things which has not been provided by your theme okay so under the appearance section you will see themes widget menu bar background or theme editor so today we are going to deal with the appearance section under the appearance hood you will find theme click on theme and here as you can see i have already added the theme green mart but i will tell you how you can add it click on add new and here you will see there are a lot of free theme available uh, which has been provided by wordpress uh, if i'm not wrong it is around 4000 right 4000 free theme has been provided by wordpress but why people buy premium theme there are a lot of difference between free theme and paid theme right generally free theme does not come with that much amount of responsiveness and the design prospective of a free theme are very less like there are very less option to design your whole website isn't it okay and apart from that if you are making a blogging website and you want your blog to be rank high and give you a high conversion rate so free theme won't help you in that case because the conversion rate of a free theme is very less in my experience okay so i i suggest you that if you are starting up with the wordpress thing and building up your online brand with the help of website always go for a premium theme okay 
so once you have downloaded the theme it's time to upload it click on here select the file and it will start uh, if i'm not wrong here is the file it will start uploading the file click on install now then it will upload your file from the system to the website in couple of seconds okay i have already uploaded it so that i don't waste time in this video uh, telling you how to upload it okay i just need to activate it process is pretty simple to activate it you will see the activate button when it is uploaded successfully okay so now you see this our website or our theme is suggesting us to install some kind of certain plugins isn't it so whenever a uh, theme suggests you to install some kind of certain plugin never ignore those messages because a theme consists of multiple functionalities and each and every functionality somehow is correlated with your the uh, plugin right if there is a functionality of a slider and you don't have a slider plugin then particular slider uh, won't work properly in the front end so you need to always install all the plugin which has been suggested or uh, recommended by your theme okay click on bing activating plugin you will see the bing installing plugin first of all you need to install i have already installed it because it take it quite of a time and once it is installed come to plugin section and install plugin then activate all the plugin from this section because this section does not take that much amount of time as compared to this section okay so once it is activated as you can see all the plugin has been activated successfully it's super simple now let's see how our website looks right now i'm pretty sure there must be nothing at all it must be something like super simple website as expected it's super simple but for now i will try to activate the demo content here if i'm not wrong it should be under tools dbay demo import now here you will see a lot of demo first of all you need to download the demo here will be a button if i'm not wrong so as you can see there has been a lot of demo content provided by our theme i will just import this home one for the demo video purpose click on ok and the import process will start automatically and everything will be imported in couple of seconds you just need to wait for it as you can see the import section import process has been completed successfully let's see how our website looks right now i'm pretty sure it must be looking something really good okay uh, let's wait and let it load uh, okay header section has been imported perfectly the slider has been imported perfectly it is a really beautiful looking slider with a lot of animation as well and if you scroll down then you will see the product section is also assigned i'm pretty sure the product images has not been imported due to copyright issues product images not import nowadays okay if you go to the other section like uh, catalog mode then you will be able to check out the other thing as well okay this is the flower catalog mode and if you come here and let's wait for a couple of seconds then we will come to know that it is really looking good or not okay this particular particular catalog is really amazing talk about that the product images is not listed because of the co copyright issue as i was expecting it earlier but apart from that if you uh, uploaded all the images of the product okay the images are there these are just loading taking bit of a time let's open one of the uh, product then we will come to know that how the product page actually looks right i'm excited to see a product page okay now you're seeing that if once the website loads perfectly everything looks so beautiful right and this is the product page of a particular product this looks so beautiful isn't it and if you try to see the product page in a mobile prospective then you will come to know that everything looks so perfectly beautiful right scroll down through the related product then you will see there are listed other product as well product description buy now button is beautifully designed and the menu is looking also good on the mobile view okay this is perfectly aligned and if i talk about the other things like footer everything is perfectly aligned right so i hope you get my point that this theme is perfectly fine for your e-commerce business right and this theme provide you uh, a lot of demo content as well as i showed you earlier right so i i will wrap this video up by saying if you really like this video just give it a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one